Hey everybody, how's it going? Horia Peruti here, software engineer at IBM. Today I want to talk about one of the latest um, AI, artificial intelligence solutions that I built revolving around machine learning. And I think you'll find it really useful in uh, learning about um, how a really easy and quick and free way to apply artificial intelligence and really build a useful project from a free data set from Kaggle. So before we get started, I want to break down the project and tell you exactly how this um, video series is going to be divided. So there's going to be four videos. Um, the first one is going to be a quick three minute video of the end, end product. So that's going to be a Python web application that's going to be talking to our deployed model, machine learning model in the cloud. So that one is just a quick uh, demo with the UI and showing how to fill in a form and then actually using the model in the back end. Next is going to be the video that you're watching now and this is the architecture demo. It's going to be kind of the project overview, um, the actual cloud services and the actual architecture of the project. And then we're going to explore the data set. So we're going to look at the Kaggle data set um, and then use Python visualization libraries to see if there's any correlation between the data set before we run any machine learning experiments on it. Um, third, the third video is going to be kind of focusing on creating all the cloud services so um, you're going to create IBM uh, Watson Studio to create your project, then a cloud object storage to store the data set, and then a machine learning instance um, so that you could process and run all these experiments um, to create pipelines and um, eventually deploy a uh, machine learning model. The last video, the fourth one, um, will be about implementation and using that deployed model and, and finding that that best performing model and then deploying it as a web service and then connecting our Python Flask application to that deployed model in the cloud. So we're gonna work with the, our API keys for machine learning and then also our instance IDs and all the credentials that we need to actually connect to our deployed model in the cloud. Um, so I'll, I'll have all these video series in the description. So if you're only interested in one of them, go ahead and switch to that video now. If you wanna keep learning about the data set and the project um, itself, uh, keep watching this one. So thanks again for watching and hope you enjoyed this. So let me show you the data set first. Um, so we can go to Kaggle. This is a great way to find um, different data sets that you may be able to use in your projects. Um, and our data set that we will use today, um, of course you could use any other data set as well, but we will use this insurance file um, you can see it's a pretty small file. It's only 1,300 um, rows and seven columns. Um, and it really revolves around um, what we're trying to predict is expenses. So how expensive exactly is our insurance cost going to be? And the different features that we have are age, sex, gender, um, BMI, number of children, whether or not you're a smoker, and the region. And we want to see if there's any bias within the um, within the gender, but also whether uh, different regions actually um, affect your insurance charges as well. Um, so that's kind of an overview of the data set. Um, let me show you kind of where to find this project and what the overall project looks like. Um, so we do have a GitHub page. Um, it's IBM slash predict insurance charges with AI. And note that um, machine learning is a subset of AI. And in this particular um, in this particular example, we are going to be using machine learning algorithms. So here's kind of the main outline of the project. Um, this is kind of the end web app. So we have a Flask application. You can see we predict the insurance charge. That doesn't mean much to you right now, but if you look at the data set, it'll make more sense. So um, this is kind of what the architecture looks like. Um, as the data scientist, we basically um, create a Watson Studio instance with an IBM Cloud. Um, we put, we create an in instance of object storage, which is where we keep our data set. And this is all completely free, no credit card required, nothing. You just have to sign up for an IBM Cloud account. And the third step is we feed in this data file, um, and then we run Auto AI experiment on it, um, which is essentially we're going to tell Auto AI what we want to predict, and Auto AI is going to run 
different algorithms and try to um, maximize and optimize for the metric that we're going for. So for specifically for us is we're going to try to minimize the root mean squared error. And if you're a data scientist, you'll know exactly kind of what that means. And if you're not, um, don't worry about it. But essentially, we're just going to try to minimize the error of our prediction. Lastly, we're going to use uh, IBM Watson machine learning to run all these experiments. And then we're going to use our machine learning algorithm, our machine learning model, um, and be able to put a UI over it um, so that once we actually do enter in different fields in our UI, we can um, talk to our machine learning model and predict a certain outcome, which in our case is the insurance shards. So now we're going to talk about the first optional part of the project, which is exploring the data. So this first, um, and then you can also see the demo here in the watch the video section. Um, but the first part is actually, you can open this notebook, whether it's in Watson Studio or just in GitHub, but it's a, a Jupyter notebook. So um, we're doing some data exploration at the beginning. Um, so you do need to put your API key from um, IBM Cloud Object Storage and your endpoint URL, and these are all free. You just click on the service credentials. Um, but the first thing we do is just call the head uh, method on our data frame. So we get the first five rows in our box plot here is actually the difference between uh, charges for a smoker who said yes versus a non-smoker. So we can see the average is about 35,000 for a smoker versus the average for a non-smoker about 7,000. So we can see this box plot illustrate this very easily and then gender impact um, so we can see if there's bias within the gender and um, we see that there isn't too bad of a bias there and then we also have region here as well and you can run this within Watson Studio um, so that's kind of the first optional step um, the meat of the project kind of comes from step three so we want to create our IBM cloud services so in this video, to conclude, you've just learned about the project architecture, so what cloud services we're going to use, so mainly um, IBM Cloud Object Storage, IBM Watson Studio, and IBM Watson Machine Learning. And then we've learned about the data set, so we're using a free open source insurance data set from Kaggle, and we're going to be predicting insurance charges. And lastly, we've seen a Jupyter notebook that uses visualization libraries to find any sort of correlations between the features in the data and what we're trying to predict, which is the charges. So we've done a little bit of data exploration, which is nice, so you have some sort of idea of what features are important to predicting the outcome, which is, again, the insurance charges. So in the next video, we'll start looking at how to create all these cloud services and then run the auto AI experiment, which will generate these machine learning models. So. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.